I just came through that sort of jungle area, area there with my dad. Um, bamboo, mostly bamboo. But I came out there as a kid, way back, I don't know, way back over there, there used to be a river where I learned to swim. But right now, there's a guy doing a garden. And this is all eggplant. So there's a lot of eggplant here. And the pipes that you're seeing, it goes back to the river. And I think he has a pump, pumps water. So in dry season, it's irrigated. So in about, oh, there is some tiny flowers, but I would think another month or so, these would be bearing eggplant for sure. And if you notice, you would see it's like a sort of a drain between the high, the eggplant is planted on banks and there's a drain. And I think in the dry season, that's where the irrigation would be. They would water their backfill it and go to the root. Then the rainy season, I've been having a lot of rain lately. It irrigates the plant, so it takes most of the water away from the roots. Smart idea. There we go, you can see a flower in this plant here. So that's going to turn into an eggplant or bygone as we say in Trinidad and Tobago. Now the water is really muddy right now but I, I guarantee you it goes crystal clear. Um, it rained up in the mountains and the water is all muddy now. But this here is the river I learned to swim in. So in those holes, like those deeper ends, there used to be ponds that I learned to swim, me and my brother and friends. And But I guarantee you that muddy water when we were swimming wasn't muddy like that. It's just because up in the quarries where it rained, the muddy water is coming down from up there. And you can tell it rained quite a lot because if you look at the bank here, you can tell it's been eaten away by the level of water that came down. Just saw a snake run across here, so your boy kind of breaks in right now. I'm just going through this swampy area. Yeah, see the things I do to bring videos for you guys? You buy that day and night. Hmm. Cut all your plants and stop it. Busy workers, boy. Part yeah. There. I remember when they did this part here. Yeah. So this is the same river. But they diverted it about 15, 20 years ago. Well, look at that. This is a guava tree, but it's overridden with vines and stuff yeah. like that. Damp anymore. That's bamboo that you're looking at right now. It's a lot of bamboo everywhere. And as a kid, we would cut the bamboo rods, tie some string to it, and we'd go fishing right there. Now, are these some short little papaya pieces? Mm-hmm. Short loaded papaya. And we keep seed from that same papaya. Put in a bottle, but it remains too long. Yeah. Uh. It's too long. It is what time it is now? It's about 4 45, and the place dark on each here already with this bamboo. The well, it's so thick. Mm. Well, there's a clearing here, a lot of bamboo. The thing is, in dry season, it becomes a fire hazard because all these dry ones and the leaves, it's easy to. Someone is smoking, toss a cigarette or something, boom, fire. I feel like I'm in a nature show right now, not the cooking show, not the gallivanting, but nature.
Uh -huh. yeah. I almost went down here too, but it's a swampy area here you now. As a kid, me and my brother would be all in the back here, pretending we're hunting, fishing, going swimming. Moms never wanted us to go swimming without adults, but we didn't really listen. Thankfully, none of us had any issues drowning or anything. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Mm. <laughs> Next thing I catch prattling <laughs> this water here. Live on YouTube, that could be thing. Mm -hmm. It'll be nice. A lot of people... They'll catch a laugh, eh? Yeah, a lot of people will laugh. So this tree here, mm -hmm. I may have pointed out in another video, but it goes all the way up. It's called an immortal tree, and they were planted back when there was cocoa and coffee estate here to shade the cocoa and coffee trees. And the orange flowers that you're seeing on the ground here, that's the flower of it. So, this is what an immortal flower looks like. This little ravine here. Yeah, that dog there follows my dad everywhere. It doesn't even belong to us. But um, this ravine here, I remember as a kid, we would come and catch conks here, conk or conks, yeah, yeah. snails. Yeah, we used to eat snails as well, but the big ones, really massive ones. Goes all the way back, all where we came from back there. I know the real number, we know that Balize. Yeah, this is the Balize. Normally, this have snakes in there. <laughs> oh, shame. Yeah, no there you go, into more jungle again to bring you content now if you see me drop the camera and skedaddle it means i saw a snake okay because i'm on in playing with no serpent wow the temperature is even different in this little shaded, shaded area here. We're heading to the bottom of that coconut tree there to see if there's dried coconuts on the bottom to use in some recipes. Um, I remember as a kid growing up on the island, see the, these leaves here? This is not banana. We, but I don't even know the name of it. We call it roti leaf, but when people would have Hindu prayers, they would cut these and they would feed you on it. So we didn't use banana leaves, but we did use this one. There's a bigger plant over here. But I think what my dad was saying is there are some smaller plants here. Because they were harvesting so much of it, you need a license now to be able to cut it. Because I guess we were cutting too much of it. If someone knows the actual name of it, please leave a comment down below. I know it as roti leaf. Finally made it under the coconut tree we're heading to. Now it's to see if there's any dried ones on the bottom that fell. It rained quite a bit, so we're hoping. Party. Yeah, back home. So that concludes the jungle tour for 2018. <laughs> Yo, easy buddy.